Hey guys, it's me, John Avenger, once again, and uh, this is going to be a rant. I know I haven't done one of these in a while, but I got a rant on this. This is the first of four unnecessary movies that I've made a ton of money and have gotten so much, you know, heat over the last couple of years, and this is the first of Michael Bay's Transformers movies. Now, I admit... The first three films, I liked them when I saw them in the theater, but my feelings have changed ever since I saw the fourth one. But uh, this is the first one from 2007. Now, when this was coming out, I had I had a lot of hype. Because I was like, oh, cool, a Transformers movie in live action. I've been waiting years for this. Little did I know what stupid stupidity was going to head my way. It's called Transformers, and they're not even the freaking stars of the movie. It's basically just Shia LaBeouf, Megan Fox, and a bunch of humans talking for, like, hours. And then the Transformers show up and, you know, cool special effects. I think the effects look great and the voice work is mostly top-notch. And the action sequences, for the most part, are, you know, serviceable. But, my God, these movies are way too long. Especially the, the last one, but I'll get to that next time. And th this movie just drags a lot, and there's just too much stupidity in the movie. And it's just, you know, why, why give this to Michael Bay? This property was damaged the moment he, start he started with it in 2007. It made a lot of money, and they made three terrible sequels that got even worse. But the first one, you know, the, the robots show up, like, about an hour into the movie, because you can't, God forbid, you get them in the first five minutes, no... You know, some, some movie titles are a lie. And, uh, you know, as much flack as Age of Ultron got, at least Ultron appears within, like, the 30-minute mark. You don't have to wait an hour and a half to see him. And uh, that movie is a real Transformers movie compared to this. This, we get it. Megan Fox is hot. You don't have to show her belly button and, and you know, scroll, her, scroll up her body to show that. We know. We got it. Okay? We can look at her face. We don't have to have close-ups of her ass or legs or her body, you know? It just, it's way too, it's too much sexualization of a film, of a character. And Megan Fox is not much of an actress. Natalie Portman is, Scarlett Johansson is, but she's not. She's dull and bland. Shia LaBeouf, he, he tries in these films. I'm not going to ever say anything bad about him. He's not a terrible lead character, but it's called Transformers. You could have had... Optimus be in the film with him throughout the whole film, not just like in the middle and it's like, I'm Optimus Prime. Peter Cullen owns this role. He's the best thing in these movies because he, he's the voice of Optimus in the cartoon. But, you know, even then now, looking back, this, this these movies could be so much better if Michael Bay wasn't at the helm. Uh, Megatron doesn't appear until like the end of the film, pretty much. I mean, he's shut down for most of the film and then he turns on and fights Optimus at the end, and, you know, it should be epic, but who kills that Megatron shot above? And it's just, I'm sorry, I just got up, you know, so if I'm yawning, excuse me, I just, you know, got up from sleep. But anyway, I'm going to get this out of the way, because I got three more of these to get through. Why are these movies so long? This movie's like two hours and 20 minutes. It feels like it, especially now. Back in 07, I, was, I gave it the pass, because it was the first. But... There's a lot of padding. There's way too many characters in this movie you didn't need. You didn't need Sam with Wiki's parents. You didn't need, uh, you know, the side characters. Like, you didn't need a, a freaking Anthony Anderson. You didn't need uh, the, that uh, Australian chick or British chick, whatever she is. You didn't need her. I, the soldiers, I didn't mind. I like I like uh, Tyrese Gibson and I like uh, Josh Duhamel. But you don't need 15 billion characters in the two-hour movie. It's just a lot of padding and... It's they're un, it's unnecessary. Michael Bay doesn't know how to develop characters, so he has to throw in racial stereotypes and a bunch of side characters that we don't care about to pad out the running time, and that just feels so cheap. I feel neglected. You know, I feel like I like I got my money stolen, and I'm not gonna go through that again, Michael Bay. You're done. This franchise is done after you killed it with the fourth one. But anyway, the first one, you know, the serviceable action, the visual effects, once again, are really well done. The robots don't look that terrible. And, uh, you know, basically the whole movie is about finding this cube that'll, I don't know, 
turn or end the world or something like that as a deus ex machina. It's been done before. We've seen this in so many other sci-fi action movies. And, you know, these movies are just tedious now. I don't like any of them now. In the theater, I had fun. Now, I look back on them and I'm like, these movies are over long. The Transformers are not front and center. It takes forever for the plot to get going. The pacing is just atrocious in all of these films. I hate the side characters that are not needed. I hate the fact that you have to sexualize Megan Fox and Rosie Huntington Whitley in the third one and uh, Nicola Peltz in the fourth one. That's all he does. He can't just... You can make a, a woman sexy like that one right there, Black Widow, and do it right. You know, give her a character. Make her important to the plot. Not just make her some boring, bland, uh, sexy girl that does nothing, you know? And it's just sad. These movies could be so much better if Michael Bay wasn't at the helm and ruining this franchise. And the right, writing in this one was serviceable, but it could be better. You know, give me some jokes that are actually funny. Not Bumblebee pissing on John Turturro. Not John Turturro taking his pants off. Not that stupid thing. Just give me some clever dialogue and some likable characters. That's all you need. You don't need all these stupid jokes and, and racial stuff that's just offensive. You know, it's called Transformers. You want to see this done better? Just see the 86 animated movie. That is the real Transformers movie from from back in the day. And that, and at least in those movie, in that movie, the robots are front and center. There's human characters, but there's not 50 billion of them. There's like a couple here and there. It, when you put human characters in place of the real characters, it just detracts from the movie. And just, it's so sad. But I don't want to rant an hour on this film. I don't like this film anymore. One time in the theater was fine, but at home it didn't hold up. That's why I don't own the films. I don't own any of them. And uh, Michael Bay sucks now. Uh, he, he started to lose it once he did these films. Because The Island I like. I think that's a decent underrated film. And it's got two cast members I like more than half of the people in these movies. And just no. These movies make me sick. They're too long. They're boring. People had a problem with Bart Bat uh Nolan's Batman movies, but comic books have a lot of talking and story, and you could pad it out the running time with, with a good story. Here, there's not enough story. It's like maybe 45 minutes of a story. The rest of it is just an hour and 30 minutes of padding, and it just feels so, so long. And it was like, sitting through a sci-fi action movie should not be a chore, and this was a chore to get through, especially now. And I will never own these movies. I don't like these movies, you know. I love the Avengers because even though the movies are long, I love the characters so I can go, I can follow them all the way to the end. This, I get bored and I'm like, oh my god, when are the Transformers going to show up? And it takes forever. And while the effects are good and the and the cars that they, they drive are pretty awesome and the action scenes are serviceable in the first film, just enough already with this Michael Bay with the product placement and the freaking stereotypes and... 50 billion characters and sexualizing your female lead. We get it. We want to, uh, us guys want to see a hot chick, but don't make that the f front and center, especially with Megan Fox, who can't act and she shouldn't be in Ninja Turtles either. So I don't know what else to say about these movie, this movie. Uh, I give it a thumbs down now. It's mediocre at best. I mean, it's not the worst movie I've ever seen, not by a long shot, but if it was done by somebody else that cared it would be more like Independence Day and, not, and less like a freaking padded out, you know, toy commercial, which that's basically what it is. Let's sell toys to, for, you know, that Hasbro made a long time ago to a new generation. And I'm sorry, this movie just doesn't do anything for me. And, uh, you know, just too much, too much, too much talking and not enough substance just irritates me. And I will never watch this movie again all the way through. If I do... I would have to listen to the commentary and not look at the screen because it's just painful to watch. And two hours and 20 minutes is just too long. I'm sorry. If you don't have an epic story, don't make it that long, please. I only have enough time in my life to spare. So I don't care for this movie in Transformers, the movie from 2007. It's just a boring, tedious, you know, you know, well, well shot, but just not enough substance movie that... Made money because I was gullible to give it my money, but I will not give it my money anymore. Unless it's a dollar at a yard sale and I don't have to look at it that much because, you know, I, they could be so much better. 
and the fact that we got this and the films are still being made is just sad. But anyway, that's my rant on Transformers. I don't like these movie, this movie anymore. The theater was one experience that was a long time ago, almost 10 years ago. But today, it doesn't hold up. And I can see better movies with robots. iRobot or Age of Ultron or uh, WALL-E or a bunch of other movies. This is not one of them. So cool-looking robots, but they can't save this boring, tedious film. So... Stay tuned. The next one will probably be a rant on the second one. Now, I have a lot more to say about that one later. So, but this one, no.